Uh, Razi from Canada, we, we've discontinued that call because I, in the past, used to entertain his calls on the show, and so many Muslims, may Allah bless them, uh, uh, came to me through emails telling me that this guy is a devout Qadiani, and he's like their public relations, and he has made videos against me about drinking beer and making fun of the sheikh that he drinks beer. And I saw some of his lies and I got to know where this guy is coming from. To their cult, he's doing a good job because he's defending what he believes. And definitely Satan is happy with him. And they are doing a good job. What hurts most is that we need dedicated people like this among the Muslims who dedicate their lives, their times, and their efforts to propagate Islam, real Islam, from the Quran and the Sunnah. So such voices of evil would not find its way out. Alhamdulillah, this guy, by the way, I'm not publicizing him because no Muslim would definitely watch any of his material because it's blatant kufr and lies. And all the materials of Qadianis, Baha'is, etc., they're all not related to Islam. Don't ask me. Ask any major scholar in Islam about them. Ask the committees of the World Muslim League by itself. And you will find that they say they're out of the fold of Islam. Go to the Azhar, go to universities all over the Muslim world. I'm talking about a 1.7 billion. These guys are financed by the Brits. And they were, their cult was created so that they would curb the jihad, the concept of jihad and resisting the conqueror, the, the white skin Brits, the English army. And they made it part of their religion to sub Mit to their orders and to bow to them and to make them use them as steps to put their feet on. So this is why it was created. And it, till date, they have great, huge support everywhere. Anyhow, they are a minority. I don't think they're maybe like 300 or 400,000 uh, individuals in the whole world. Nevertheless, they're not related to Islam, but I do invite the Muslims from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah to gear up and to do whatever they can to devote themselves, dedicate themselves for the Quran and the Sunnah according to the manhaj of the Salaf of the three favorite generations so that they would open the eyes that are closed and shed the light in these times of darkness to guide the people, insha'Allah.